um, get underway. So happy World Teachers Day to you all. Thank you all very much for giving up uh, some of your day slash evening, depending on where you're located. I'm really pleased to be able to uh, let you know that we have uh, Gemma Yates from Teach In and Ben Bullis from Career Teachers uh, with us this evening to uh, present on exactly where your city university um, teaching degree can, can take you. Uh, so first up we'll have uh, Gemma uh, chatting to you, followed by Ben. Um, if you'd like to type in questions along the way, I'll try and keep track of those, um, but those I'm sure will give you an opportunity to um, ask some questions either um, at the end of the session or right at the end then, and you can address them to either or. Um, so I'll ask Ben if you wouldn't mind turning off your talk button uh, just while Gemma is chatting and I will do the same and then um, if you want to chime in with a, a question, um, feel free to I'll click back on that talk button. Um, but otherwise, I will hand over to you, Gemma. Thank you very much. Great. OK, so a little bit strange. You can hear me, hopefully, if you can't, just type um, into the box. So my name is Gemma Yates. I've um, been in education recruitment for the last uh, 15 years and have just recently moved myself from the UK to Melbourne. So potentially I've done the journey that some of you teachers might make in reverse. So I'm just going to pull up the um, presentation now. Um, so teaching, our motto really is travel, teach, earn and learn and that's something we want to talk about further today in terms of how, as Debbie says, you can use your, your teaching degree to propel your career across the other side of the world really. Okay, so we have um, 18 different locations, so hopefully something for everybody. Yes, still there is a huge interest from Aussie teachers wanting to go to London. However, London is wonderful, but it's not everybody's cup of tea. So if you wanted to um, try something different, have uh, an opportunity outside of London, we have country and rural locations. We do have um, seaside locations as well, coastal towns, um, not obviously often the beaches that you guys here have in Australia. Um, but yeah, we payroll probably about 5,000 different schools up and down the country. So you can go relatively close to the Scottish border. We've got an office in Wales. And we also offer you the opportunity to actually move around um, from this location. So you might fancy doing a term in London, a term in um, Manchester, a term in Yorkshire, for example, and we can happily support that um, transition once you're in the UK. Um, so a bit more information about ours. So as I mentioned, quite a large and wide diverse portfolio. So we have um, secondary schools, primary schools, special education on these schools, early childhood, um, opportunities. We have academies, faith schools, so Muslim, Christian, Jewish schools. Um, so we have a smattering of private schools. So I think you guys have more independent schools potentially than us, but the main um, bulk of our work is in the, the state sector. We do offer different ranges of employment. Um, so if you wanted to maybe say, hey, look, I feel like as though I want to go to London. I'll pick up doing some casual um, relief work first. Fine, we will guarantee that for you. So we will guarantee that if we don't find you work, in the rare eventuality that we wouldn't find you anything, you'd still get paid. We offer you interim roles. So a lot of maternity roles obviously still in teaching available. We often have you know, situations where they say, oh, hey, can you find somebody to temp for a week in our English department, we've got somebody that's broken a leg or stress-related leave. Often that can wrangle on for a few months and we do have, you know, temp to perm situations where you might temp for six months and then both parties are quite happily in love with one each other and say, hey, let's, let's move you to going on to a school's contract, so that's good as well. And then if you're somebody that wants to have a permanent teaching position before you've even left Australia, absolutely no problem. We have a UK principal who's coming over to Australia um, in the next two weeks. He has a long shopping list of vacancies that he's looking to fill. He has the hiring power and he'll be offering Australian teachers 
permanent positions to start in January 2017 and beyond. So we really do help you with the with the recruitment side of things in terms of setting up Skype or even FaceTime interviews now. But we do provide quite a good relocation package, which I'll come on to shortly. Everybody in the Australian offices, so we've got two. We've got one up in Brisbane and one down here with myself in Melbourne. We've taught um, in the UK. All the international recruiters as well have actually taught both here in Australia and in the UK. So we can speak from first-hand experience. We offer you a full flight to the UK. And as an agency, we've been up and running for 20 years. We only recruit teachers. We don't do anything else. So we're quite a specialist in our field. Just move on to the next slide. So why would you even think about going overseas? Well, you can get qualified teacher status in the UK. And that means, obviously, teaching the British curriculum, you would have the opportunity to potentially teach anywhere in the world, which you know I've seen people go on and teach in Mexico and teach in China, and particularly if you've got that British curriculum experience. Um, I really feel as though you know, you'll be able to diversify your understanding of the curriculum. Obviously, it's very, very similar. The reason we recruit from Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, Canada is because our curriculums are quite aligned. It's just a jargon that's slightly different, but we help you in terms of support and providing a mentor for you to help you get through the first um, few few weeks, and in fact, the whole first year whilst you're over in the UK. So you're allocated a UK mentor, so somebody in a UK school that will actually help um, to make sure that your lessons are being observed, that your reports are coming in on time, that you are getting the support that you need, um, and you put in touch with other newly qualified teachers within the school. So there's a bit of a body system as well. Working in the UK as a newly qualified teacher from Australia, you would have a reduction in your timetable. So there's some protected time there. So you're able, during the working week, to do some planning, some preparation, and some assessment. And I think just in terms of the cultural exchange from a from a teaching perspective, I mean, raising somebody's aspirations, potentially, you know, you might be teaching somebody that's never um, been out of their catchment area. You know, they they come from quite a challenging background, and if you can broaden their horizons and give them some perspective on the big wide world, fantastic. And I think, you know, for an Australian, for me, moving here it just blows my mind. I feel like I need about four watches, um, you know, to to work out your time zones and you know, just having to fly everywhere, it's just crazy. I mean, you know, you can be in Scotland in a matter of hours. You can go to Ireland on a 45-minute flight. You can go to Paris. You can go to Rome. You can go to Amsterdam. Really, really easy and really affordable. Obviously, traveling in uh, Australia is super expensive as well. Um, to help you in terms of returning to come to the UK, we'll guarantee you a reference, which will obviously strengthen your Australian teaching application when you come back. We have just started, it's very, very new, but we've just started a pilot where we've got an exchange program with anyone that goes to the UK. We're then actually helping them to return to a group of schools in North and Central Queensland. So that's obviously really interesting for you guys, knowing that you can come back and hopefully there'll be an opportunity in North or Central Queensland. Um, in terms of thinking about you know, the, the UK, um, what costs and what practicalities um, should, you, should you consider? You're probably all, I would have guessed, going to be under 31. So you'll be eligible for the Youth Mobility Visa. That means that you can um, work, live, and teach in the UK for two years. Real success stories, guys, where um, you know, after a couple of years, if people love it, fall in love with the UK and the school and want to stay, that they're actually able to um, get sponsored. So that's that's really good if you think, well, I'm going over, but I'd like to go over quite seriously and maybe make a you know career beyond two years. That's an opportunity for you as well. Um, probably takes about two to eight weeks, depending on the backlog, to get that that visa. Um, and then practical issues. We do an awful lot for you in terms of helping you open a bank account, advice on where to live. Cost prices. I mean, the UK is in certain areas an awful lot cheaper than it is here in Australia. 
um, it really is quite um, quite cheap in terms of affordability. Shopping, groceries cheap. I've certainly noticed that, and obviously travel and and buying a car as well, particularly if you go to one of our rural areas to teach. Um, as I mentioned before, we offer a free flight, not a light. We're missing, missing an F there, and we actually have a candidate manager who's a Kiwi. She's been um, with us for 16 years. She will actually pick you up from the airport, and I actually think that's our duty of care once we've got you to the other side of the world. We help you register with a doctor and a dentist. That was something, you know, Medicare over here, something I had to learn. You don't have to do that over there, but we'll, we'll help you. Um, we run regular social events, so you could potentially meet, you know, a teacher that might be teaching the same school as you, uh, maybe traveling at the same time. Um, also housemates, so if you you know want to connect in and have that social element there as well, we can connect you both here when we have our social events in Brisbane and also on the other side as well. And as I've said, we have somebody there that can really help you every step of the way if you've got any issues um, once you get over there um, and continue that that journey for you. So how does the UK school system differ from Australia? Not too dissimilar. It's it's really quite close. And when the principal is here um, in the next couple of weeks, he's actually going to be running some free PD sessions. Um, and one of the things he will be covering off is how the school system differs. Um, as I mentioned, some different words for kindergarten means nursery, for example. And we actually run training courses here on a regular basis before you um, land into the UK. When you arrive, you'll also benefit from having an um, induction as well. So we have a principal who um, has almost 40 years experience, particularly recruiting from Australia. She's been over to Australia a number of times on, on recruitment drives. She's somebody that actually runs the induction day the first weekend that you're in the UK. So you get some fantastic knowledge there as well. Um, something that's quite different to us um, from some of the other agencies is when I moved here, you know, I was, uh, you know, freaking out a little bit. Gosh, you know, leaving friends, family, job behind. How am I going to fit in? So I wanted to put in a bit of a program where you could actually suck it and see. So every year, every December, we fly graduates over to the UK for a free 10-day uh, experience on us. So we pay for your flights, we pay for your accommodation while you're there. We set you up with um, about two or three schools that would be interviewing. If you're a math teacher, we would line you up with math interviews in person. Um, and again, you get an induction. It's a bit deep in that, hence the name, the, the deep professional development. And you can pick where you want to go. So if you think, hey, that's great. I'd love to see what London's like, have the opportunity to um, interview actually in person. Yep, we'll facilitate that. And the next event running is the um, the, the teachers will depart the 30th of November from Australia and land into the UK in um, the 2nd of December. And then that following week, you'll teach. And there's a day trip involved as well, a night out. So you'll get to meet other people from Canada, Ireland, different states in Australia, and obviously New Zealand as well. There's a link on the, the bottom there, and that will give you more information of how how to apply for that particular um, scheme. Um, the flip, as I've mentioned to that, is if you think, OK, I'd like to find out a bit more from pr the principal. Um, we're bringing this, this principal over here in the next couple of weeks. So you can actually send me a CV, and you can actually line up a position to have an interview with the principal, free PD session, and land a permanent or a contract job before you even leave Australian shores, which is pretty fantastic. And um, good question, a common question that keeps coming up at the moment is why on earth does the UK need so many teachers? I mean, we are a tiny island, but a very densely packed island. I think London alone is really creeping up to um, the population of Australia as a whole. And I think we can you can you may or may not have seen that map where um, <laughs> the U where Europe and the UK fits into Australia and there's still some space so it gives you a bit of a measure of of maybe why um, we're really short staffed particularly in primary math English science technology computer science humanities and more subjects are all in demand um, because we have a, a growing population 
we aren't developing our teachers as quickly as we would like, so there's not as many teachers in the system. And then at the top end, I believe, and I'm led to understand that a lot of teachers here in Australia do hang on to their positions for a long time, whereas we're seeing a lot of the 1950s baby boomers, they're retiring now. So it doesn't take a genius to work out, you know, we've been in the EU for, for 37 years, you know, net migration has increased year on year, and uh, yeah, we can't get the teachers at the bottom end, we're losing them at the top end, Houston, we have a problem, and that's where you guys come in. I mean, Australian teachers are always really, really popular, really favoured, you've got the accent factor, be prepared to be asked questions in your classes about kangaroos, neighbours, have you ever seen snow, all those kind of quirks, <laughs> um, which, is, which, is quite, which is quite cute, but yeah, there we go. So what are we looking for? Obviously the skills and the qualities um, we need. Somebody that's keen to travel, you know, that's hungry to see a different way of life and, and learn, learn from that. Knowing your, your subject inside and out, you know, being a good classroom practitioner is really valuable to us. Um, you've got to be tough. I mean, look, you know, the weather over there can be shocking, particularly if you're coming from the sunshine state. So you've got to be able to cope with homesickness. You know, it could be dark, could be cold, could be faced with snow. Um, how are you going to deal with, um, you know, the demands of, of facing a new curriculum and everything? We're looking for the people obviously that are, are passionate, that are committed to an international teaching career, a willingness to share and to, to learn and to hone their, their skills and you know, just well-rounded and grounded individuals that want a bit of fun and adventure in their life really. That is about um, it to be honest. Um, I can obviously take some, some questions. For some of you, I can only see a, a first name, and so I don't have any contact details if you want to follow up directly. I don't know if that's something that, that Debbie can coordinate. Um, but if you want more information, our website is quite simply teachin, without the g.co.uk, and Debbie, you're welcome to share this presentation. And um, yeah, please tap away if you've got any questions or um, Debbie, if you can kind of pass those on to me, that would be absolutely wonderful. Thanks very much for that, Gemma. We do have one question from Fiona. She wants to know if age is an issue, for example, if she was um, for mature age people. It depends on Fiona's subject. If she um, is math, the sciences, English or primary, and she's over 31, no, it isn't a problem. Obviously, it's not a problem if she has a uh, ancestry or an EU passport, or if you know she has a British passport. But traditionally, the use mobility visa is issued to those under 31. Does that help? Yes, that, that's great. Thank you. No problem. Any other questions before we hand over to to Ben? Looking all quiet, and so I'll um, get Ben to come online if that's okay. And uh, Gemma, if you wouldn't mind clicking out on, on your talk button. Yep, no problem at all. Ben, we just need you to click on your talk button. Just give Ben a couple of minutes to come back online. He might have stepped away from his computer for a moment. It's great to have uh, so many of you here this evening. Um, so I'm hoping um, you are all hearing everything okay. Um, and I'm happy to um, pass on Gemma's contact details uh, for you after the session and also I can uh, send through a version of the PowerPoint slides for you as well. Um, and in particular, uh, from that, um, I know in Ben's slides, he does have uh, a few um, video links that we won't be able to action just because of our uh, platform.
platform, so nothing to do with them simply because of the platform. So um, hopefully with that, that slide uh, you'll be able to access those after the evening. It looks like Ben's online, so I'll hand you back over. Debbie, I'm really hoping you can hear me now. Yes, we can. Oh, thank goodness. I, I was talking previously. I had a few technological problems here. Um, I started talking to myself thinking you could all hear me, and um, obviously you couldn't, so apologies for that. Um, so thank you, Debbie, and thanks also to Gemma. Um, as, as Gemma said, um, if you have any questions or if you can't hear me clearly as we go along, just type into the box um, as we go, and, and myself or Debbie will pick that up. Um, Gemma has just done a really great job, really, in um, explaining the benefits of coming here to teach in the UK. Um, a lot of uh, what we do are, are going to be very similar, so I'm, I'm going to be conscious not to um, spend too much time in my presentation, because a lot of what I will be saying will, will have been mirrored um, by what Gemma had to say. Um, I suppose one of the, the key differences between our two organisations, um, teaching is a very large organisation spread across um, as Gemma said, 18 um, offices up and down the country. Career Teacher is and always has been just about London. We have a very, very busy central London office with 25 consultants, um, and all we, all we do is London. That's what we've always done, and that's what we're always going to do. We have a dedicated consultant for every single London borough, and it means that they have um, extremely intimate knowledge of, of the area and also the, the schools within London. Um, we do also cover a few of the surrounding areas as well, but primarily our focus is, is London. We, we do find um, the majority of teachers that, that come in from Australia, their, their focus is, is London. I'm going to go into why I think London is, is one of the best cities in the world. Um, I'm going to go through who we are and why we come to countries like Australia um, and what we can offer you and a little bit about the UK education system. Um, something about the, the, the school holidays, which represents a, just a fantastic opportunity for you guys to save up money throughout the term time. And then, again, as, as has already been mentioned, um, you can travel to Europe, you can travel to Ireland, you can travel to North Africa extremely inexpensively. And teaching here in the UK is, is just a, a wonderful opportunity for you to, um, to, to travel the world and have a, a great time in, in one of the best cities in the world. Um, can I tell you a little bit about life in London? Um, what you'll need to teach over here, and then finally how to apply. And again, I'm going to be conscious uh, not to dwell too much on what JAMA has already expertly covered, okay? So here we are. So we, we are um, a specialist education recruitment company um, based right in the, the very heart of London. We, we have excellent access um, to most parts of London, so you can come in to the office here for your orientation day. You can come and meet the team whenever you want. Um, we're, we're highly accessible here. Um, we help teachers from the UK and overseas, so we, we help teachers coming from all over the world to come and teach here in London. Um, we work with primary schools and secondary schools and special needs schools. Um, and uh, most schools in, in London and the UK use agencies like us to find teachers to save time and resources. So I'm, I'm conscious, that most people that, that come to the UK from other countries, the, the concept of a, a recruitment agency may be a little bit foreign to them. There's not many other countries that do it. But really here in the UK, um, schools have become completely dependent on, on agencies like us to fill their permanent vacancies and, and long-term sickness vacancies as well, um, and also for their daily supply. So it's very much in, embedded into school life now. There will be people in the school whose, whose role it is to liaise with agencies like us. Um, and we, we play an absolutely integral part in, in recruiting for schools. Um, career teachers are, are specialists in the area working with hundreds of schools for over 10 years. So again, as, as with teaching, all, all we do is, is teachers. All of our recruitment consultants um, come from education recruitment paths and we only employ highly experienced consultants as well. So we, we don't train up our consultants, we don't take on rookie consultants, we only cherry pick the, the best consultants um, because we want to provide you with a consultative service. We, we don't want to, um, it, it, it's not about filling boxes um, and, and stuffing teachers into vacancies. So why we're here, again, Gemma touched on this, you know, there's, there's a critical teacher shortage over here, it, and it is showing no signs of getting any better. Um, the UK government dictates how many 
um, the Department for Education, I should say, dictates how many teachers are trained up each year, and they consistently fail to, to meet the numbers required. Um, there is a, a population boom here, um, projected to reach 10 million by 2020, and there is at the moment um, likely to be an extra million primary age children by, by 2020 that, that need teaching. Um, there, there simply isn't enough teachers being trained up, um, and um, I, I've been doing this job for, for 15 years, and the, the the UK is becoming increasingly dependent on overseas street teachers such as yourself. So you are you are welcomed here with with open arms. Schools here are extremely comfortable in taking um, overseas trained teachers in. Um, you you fit right in over here. Um, yeah. So again, what we can offer you, we, we can offer you, as Gemma explained, um, we can offer you a whole range of, of teaching opportunities around the capital, whether you're looking for a permanent job for you to go on to uh, become a, an employee of the school with your own class, um, or whether you're looking for um, short-term contracts, which often covers long-term sick and, and maternity, where you can come in and you can try a school for um, a period of a term or a couple of terms. Um, and we're extremely busy with daily supply as well. And a lot of teachers from Australia come over here and will do um, daily supply work to start off with. Um, we'll fall in love with a school, and the school will fall in love with them, and they will move on to um, a, a longer-term role. In other instances, an Australian teacher may, may spend two or three years here and, and just do daily supply. Some people love the flexibility and the freedom of daily supply, um, there's less responsibility with that, and it, it means that you can just call and run down and say, I'm not going to be working next week, I'm going to Paris, um, and, and you, you have full flexibility. We, we offer some very competitive rates on that, and we offer you a, a guarantee of, of supply as well, um, whereby, uh, providing you, you meet our criteria, we can actually guarantee you work before you step foot on the plane, which is very reassuring for, for teachers who are relocating their lives over here. Um, you can work in, in the heart of the city, so although we, we only cover London, London is a, a surprisingly diverse city. Um, I come from North London, out on the, the outer northern rim, a uh, place called Barnet, and where I live it's all green parks, it's right on, on the green belt, so further north of me is, is Hertfordshire, and beautiful rolling countryside. You can have uh, you know, challenging in city schools, you can have um, the, 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 a dizzying array of, of areas within the uh, Greater London area. Um, we include full relocation package, so we offer, um, it was at the time of writing this $500, we've just had a, a, it announced it's going to be going up to $750 as a contribution towards your flight. Um, and we work very closely with um, a firm called um, Arrive Homes, which have 40 to 50 homes all over London. Um, they were created by uh, British supply teachers. They work almost exclusively with overseas trained teachers, and we, we can plug you into them before you come over. Um, you will be you can either get um, somewhere to live with friends if you come over with friends, or alternatively you will almost certainly be living with other um, overseas teachers who are who are doing exactly what you do. So they they really are the accommodation experts, and we we leave that up to them. Um, and again, we have great social events. We um, go on termly um, tours, so we go to Stonehenge. Um, we went out to Cambridge recently, um, and we also have plenty of social nights out as well. Um, one thing people don't think of is, is the importance of these social events. You will arrive in London very often on your own or just with a friend. Um, and these social events are a wonderful way of getting to know your, your consultant, who's very often a, a lifeline for you. But also, overseas trained teachers, you can pick up hints and tips about teaching over here in London. And there's, there's been many a, a friend for life made at, at these social events. So don't underestimate the importance of these, these social events. And, and when you come over, make sure you get yourself signed up to these. Come and have a, a few beers and us and a bit of food and, and get to know people that, that are in the same position as you. Um, and of course, this is a, a completely free service. If, if ever you encounter a recruitment agency that's trying to charge you for any of this, then, then you, you need to run a mile, I think, because these, these services are completely free to you guys. Um, 
I won't go into too much detail about the education system. You can see it broken down on the right hand side of this slide. Um, Gemma explained it all brilliantly. Um, in a nutshell, it's, it's similar enough to the Australian system that you're going to arrive here and feel very comfortable with the structure. There are certainly going to be a few differences, but it's, um, it, it's really not a million miles away from how you were taught and what you're going to be used to. Um, briefly, uh, something about the school holidays. So we have um, six weeks off in the summer, we have two weeks off uh, over Christmas and two weeks off over Easter, and we also have three one-week midterm breaks in, in the middle of each of the, the three terms. What this means to you is just the best opportunity to, to travel around England and the UK um, and get yourself out there to Europe. Again, as Gemma said, there's, uh, I mean, in, in London alone, there's five international airports. We've got the Eurostar, so you can, you can jump on a train over to Paris and Brussels. Make sure you're, you're making the most of your time here. The sun does occasionally uh, come out over the summer. So um, get your shorts on and make sure you're, you're finding out what, what London and, and the UK and Europe has to offer. So in a nutshell, um, this life in, in London is, um, well, we, we feel London is, is the greatest city in the world. Um, I've usually got a, a beautiful little video to show you here. Um, as Debbie's explained, unfortunately, I'm not able to show this, but Debbie will be sending this out. And take a few minutes to, to check this out because I find this, this just beautifully encapsulates London, um, its diversity um, and, and the, the green open space and it's got a, a great soundtrack as well which, which sort of um, demonstrates the, 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 great, the great music we've got over here. Um, but yeah, I mean 20 million people come to visit London each year, it's one of the, the, the biggest tourist destinations in, in the world and, and for good reason we have. Um, dozens of free museums and, and galleries. Um, it's got some of the best nightlife, whether you like mm. clubbing or whether you like um, the theatre or the cinema. Um, we've got uh, some of the, the best restaurants in the world. London's voted as the, the second best place to go out and eat after Paris in, in Europe. Um, we've got the world famous Notting Hill Carnival. Um, we have good old fashioned fish and chips. And we have a great British pub. And if sports you think, we are home to Wimbledon, Twickenham, Lords, which is the home of cricket and six Premier League football teams. And we have one of the, the, the best um, integrated transport systems in the world, which should not be underestimated when you're coming over here and, and trying to find yourself, find your way around a, um, a, a very busy city. Um, it is one thing a lot of Australians do com comment on is, is the ease in which you can get around. Um, a, a, a hugely densely populated city. We, we have um, an extremely efficient underground um, and bus services and we have cable cars and trams and, um, and, and overland trains as well. Um, and as I've mentioned, we've got um, six international airports and some absolutely beautiful parks and green spaces. So you must never think London is um, it's, it's just a built up city. It, it's got some beautiful open space as well. Let's give you a very rough ballpark figure of um, how much you learn and how much life here costs in, in London and obviously that will vary um, greatly, you know, you, you won't be able to live next door to Harrods in, in Knightsbridge um, or in Chelsea but you will get yourself a, a, a great flat share for around about 550 to £650 um, a month. Um, your, um, your, your travel around London will cost you around about £150 a month. Um, we'll pay you a minimum of, of £130 to £140 per day and that can go up quite dramatically depending on what kind of school you're going to be teaching in and, and what your, your teachable subjects are. Um, and you can see there that roughly mm -hmm. speaking that works out somewhere in the region of two and a half to £3,000 a month um, of which you will pay about a third of that on um, on, on taxes. So it still comfortably gives you enough to, to live and have a great time and, and get out there over all of those um, school holidays and, and enjoy what London and Europe has to offer. Um, in a nutshell, what will you need to teach over here? Well, you're going to need to be a qualified teacher, I assume, assume all of you will. Um, we're going to need you to get yourself uh, an Australian police check um, and a police check 
for any other country you've spent more than six months in and we will help you get your uh, UK police check as well. So even if you've never been over here to the UK, you're going to need a, a UK um, DBS, it's called. We can help you with, with all of that. Um, you're going to need um, either a visa, which Gemma has spoken about. Um, we can help you with uh, sponsorship. Again, some of those subjects that, that Gemma touched on, especially in maths and, and sciences. Um, but in, increasingly, we can be helping those people that, that don't qualify for the youth voluntary visa and, and the um, ancestral visa. Really, the, uh, the, the UK is, is waking up to the fact that it, it needs to, to be bringing in as many quality overseas trained teachers, such as yourself, as possible. Um, and we're going to need references from your, your teaching placements. If, if we have anyone here that's a more experienced teacher, we will also need references from from the schools going back over the last five years. So once again, I've got a, a beautiful video here that I can't show you. Um, this this is just a montage really of, of um, a few of our overseas trained teachers that came over last year, um, and and they're just saying a little bit about career teachers and why they enjoyed our service and why they'd recommend us, and and they give you a bit of an insight as well into um, teaching here in, in in the UK and in London in in, in particular. Um, so when Debbie does this, does send this round, please do um, take a few moments. I, I think it would be very useful for, for you to check this out. So, yeah, thank you very much for your time. Thanks for joining us today. Um, you can send your, your details to Australia at careerteachers.co.uk. Um, or we've got a toll-free number there, 1800 013 which is a toll-free number. Um, we have um, our, our Australia consultant, Charlotte, is actually out in Australia as, as we speak, and she's, she's um, touring around all, all the major cities and states. Um, if you're interested in we, meeting her, she's actually a qualified teacher, 10 years experience herself, and she spent a, a long time of her life in Australia, so she knows Australia, she knows the Australian system, and more importantly, she's taught over here for a long period of time. And she's a great person to answer all of your questions. So let us know if, if you're interested in meeting with her. She's going to be right on your doorstep, hopefully, over the next month, um, and, and she'll be able to answer all of your questions. Um, otherwise, just call us or email us on, on those details, and we'll, we'll be in touch with you straight away. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ben. We do actually have a question, if you don't mind. So from Chelsea, who is 25 and her son say is 35. They're both studying to be early childhood teachers, uh, but they also, also have six kids. Uh, they could only travel as a family, which means the six kids in school and two jobs for the both of them. Is this even possible? Hmm. Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. Um, it's <laughs> a challenge. Certainly. Um, so if, if you have a, a teacher um, that, is, that is 25, so Chelsea are, it's 25, Chelsea could qualify, um, I'm assuming, for the, the Tier 5 youth mobility visa. Um, the problem with that is you can't bring dependents on that. Okay, so your, your fiancé, uh, Chelsea, and your, your children couldn't come on that. Um, what it, it depends on your fiancé's situation. So it, it's possible, um, theoretically, that, that your fiancé could get a, um, an ancestral visa. If, if, um, if they have British parents or grandparents, they could look into the opportunity of an ancestral visa. Um, or even better, if they happen to have British or European parents, um, they could potentially qualify for a British or European um, passport, in which case dependents can can come over. Failing that, it's, it's theoretically possible that your fiancé could get a sponsorship visa as well. And, and on sponsorship uh, visas, dependents can come on that. Um, that would need to certainly be explored in, in greater detail. And I, I think that's a, a conversation we can pick up at a later date um, because it's, it's very complicated. But in a nutshell, Yes, but it's a, it would be challenging. I hope that answers your question. Yes, that's 
sounds like it's um, answered uh, part of Chelsea's question, so that's okay. Have we got any other questions for this evening? Chelsea, your best bet is um, pop an email to Australia at Career Teachers um, and maybe send me your, your CV or send me your phone number and I can actually call you straight away after this and we can talk about this in more detail. I'd love to discuss it with you.